Hello, everybody, and welcome. Oh, look at that. The layering is already messed. Oh, shit. Oh, fuck. I, I, I was listening to myself. Hi, everybody, and welcome to Two Buck Test Your Luck. I didn't do Two Buck Test Your Luck. Today, we're going to pit three uh, games from various online vendors against each other to see which one is going to be the best. <laughs> Shut the fuck up, Bree. <laughs> it's going to be the best Bafo bargain. <laughs> this is already going really well. <laughs> we have three lovely contenders with us today. The first one we have up is Piku Niku. Uh, yes, yes. Give, give Piku Niku your love. You know what? They deserve a second one. We stand Piku Niku here in the chat, ladies and gentlemen. Uh, Piku Niku is an absurdly wonderful puzzle exploration game that takes place in a strange but playful world where not everything is as happy as it seems. Help peculiar creatures overcome struggles, uncover a deep state conspiracy, and start a fun little revolution in this delightful dystopian adventure. Again, that is a Piku Niku. Let me move over, move over here, slither on over. Next up we have Convenience Store. Ooh, now this is, this is, it took us a long time to get this contestant in the studio today. The Convenience Store, a J-horror game made by the, uh, made by the team that did uh, Stigmatized Property and, uh, and, and O'Carry. Uh, the Convenience Store is a short J-horror game about a college girl on a night shift. Help her 
find her way through the evening and not die. Again, that is the convenience store. <laughs> yes. I'm going to move on over to our last contestant. We have Seraph's last stand. Well, if you don't want to help the girl, I got bad news for you. It's not up to you. You've got to do it. Seraph's last stand is a roguelike shoot 'em up based on the Flash era classic Heli Attack where every wave you pick up a new upgrade and try to break the game with crazy builds. Also, hello, Wolfie. This is a normal stream. Don't ask questions. <laughs> uh, we are going to pit these against each, these three lovely contenders against each other to see which one of them is the best boffo bargain. Uh, uh, we are going to judge... Oh, somebody let a bear into the studio. Listen, we got the rights from the we got the rights from the producer. We don't need him here anymore. Get him out. Get him out. This isn't his show anymore. All right. Wait, am I? I think I'm peeking. You didn't hear it. My sound alerts is on. Hold on. Hold on, ladies and gentlemen. We are we're dealing with some. It says it's it says it's happening. It says it's happening. <laughs> I'll try it, hold on. Okay, now that one didn't even redeem. Delph there. No, it's not capturing. Why I have the sound alert. Hold on. Hold on a second, ladies and gentlemen. I'm sorry we're having... This is our first episode back after we got rid of our problematic previous host. I don't know if you heard that. Oh, wait. I know what happened. Hold on. It's a fucking bear! There we go. Now we got bears. The bear is in the studio. We can't get him out. Billy, can you please escort uh, Bearnout J. Bear out of the studio? He is not welcome here any longer. Unfortunately, he he was uh, he was he was forcibly removed from the show after that after after previous incidents. Um, Billy, Billy, please, Billy, please get that bear out of here. Also, bear not thank you for the uh, tier one gift sub, but I do need you to leave. I need you to get out. Um, anyway, as I was saying, today we're going to judge these three lovely contestants against each other under a category. The category being internet animals. We're going to judge them on the cat on the category of internet animals. Everybody. All right. So let's 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 fucking. Let's do okay. Do the dang thing, Billy. Yes. All right. Game stage. Game. Billy. Billy, can you get the game? Uh, thank you, Billy. Thank you, Billy. Everybody, say thank you to Billy. Our first game is going of the evening is going to be Piku Niku, and I'm going to up the volume. This is going really well for everybody involved. <laughs> Especially me. <laughs> uh, Billy is our intern after being a uh, her after, uh, but this time he's earned his position. This isn't nepotism. When the show last ran, he was only given his job because of nepotism, and we don't do that here at Snack Station LLC. Uh, so we're gonna we're gonna we're gonna we're gonna set the timer. We're gonna judge each game in for 15 minutes. We're going to play each game for 15 minutes, and afterwards we're going to judge them based on the categories. And you can listen to that funky beat. Ooh. Ooh, that's right. This is slavery? It is not. Billy's here because he wants to be here. Alright. Timer. Set. <laughs> Billy wants to put him on co-op. No.
Let's get closer to this man. He's gonna give us a special something. Free money! Oh! Bam, 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 bam. Gonna give you money. You, chat, you're gonna get some free money. Free money! What do we have to do? Can we be our own boss? I think this is too loud. I'm sorry. <laughs> this is so fucked. Uh, <laughs> would you believe that I've been working on this all day? And some of yesterday? And it's still this fucked. <laughs> my game show. My completely real game show. Does it really? <laughs> Wolfie doesn't actually need to be turned up because my audio levels say otherwise. <laughs> Trust him, it's free money. Okay, I didn't think this game would have such a long cutscene at the beginning. Take care, and remember, you are perfect. Okay, good. <laughs> well, I trust him. I, ladies and gentlemen in the, the audience, what do you think? Do you trust him? We've woken up. Hello. Oh, cool, you're finally awake. Can you move? Yes. Look at us, we got little... We got little leggies. I'm sorry I woke you up. This, this is like Octodad. It's exactly like Octodad. Can't go outside, I'm a ghost, it would kill me. All right, we gotta find a way out. See, what's nice about Piku Nuku and what you need to understand about it is that it has a button that makes you do a little, does a little, does a little that, all right? We love that. We also have a button that turns us into a Tic Tac. We also have a kick button for kicking. It is the rules of being a ghost. I appreciate a game that allows me to teabag. We can use our kicking action to kick things into purple goo. When you're in tic-tac mode, you can't jump, but you do move more quickly. Kick. 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 Thank you. The ghost's lean pool. <laughs> That's absolutely right. Uh, Breenland says, the ghost green pool, lean pool. And that's absolutely right. Now we're not showing it off tonight, ladies and gentlemen, but there is, this game does have a co-op mode. It's not as long as the base game, but it is a fun little, it's a fun little puzzle time that you and a friend can knock out in like two hours. Do you guys like this music? Is this music everything? Ghost, listen, we're on a timer. We don't have time to talk to you, the ghost. Ghost, listen. Thank you, ghost. I want to listen to some music. I'm tired of this tutorial level. Ah, we've made it. Into the wild outdoors. So Piku Niku is a cute little puzzle platformer game uh, with, it kind of mixes genres at a few points. Like there's a rhythm game at a moment. There's also a ton of little secrets like this. Holy shit. What is this? Let's kneel down, take a look. <gasps> a bug. The bug, it dances. Why does the music kind of remind me of Don't Hug Me, I'm Scared? That's an amazing question. Uh, why don't you take a look at this, uh, take a look at my hair. I use my hair to express myself. Are you looking at it? That is a funky bug. Barrett says bear, not J bear.
See, what I like about this is that I can kind of go like... Bum, 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 bum. Little scarecrow. Little bird. Hi, bird. Bye. Idiot. Stupid idiot bird. <laughs> stupid, stupid fucking bird. <laughs> Look at us. Oh, we broke the bridge. Our fat ass broke the god, the GD bridge. Hate that bird. What do you, how do you feel about these guys? I swear I just heard a noise coming from the fields. Don't worry, it's probably just the birds. I don't know, it sounded pretty snappy. The sound of the beast? No one's ever seen the beast, it probably doesn't even exist. Let's go back to the village. These little characters look like the, uh... Do you guys remember Dumb Ways to Die? <laughs> that, like, music. It was like, I don't want to call it a music video, but it was a music thing. <laughs> little song. The characters look like the guys from Dumb Ways to Die. <laughs> No, it goes like, dumb. Oh, I'm not gonna say it. But that's a little song. Oh. The Beast is Awake! Oh. By Peter Griffin. No, it's by Peter Gabriel, but I understand why you say that. Oh. Oh. So it seems that, think, that seems that the people of the village think oh. that we're a horrible, a horrid beast. Oh. I don't know why I'm here. Oh, okay. I am. I am extremely mighty. This game is more dialogue than I remember. <laughs> yes, I will repair your bridge. First objective, fix bridge. Let me check the timer real quick. We got plenty of time to explore Pikuniku. So there's all sorts of collectibles and secrets hidden in every corner of the world. Can't you kick all the villagers? Let's find out. Hey, idiot, dumbass, piece of garbage boy. You say you can kick the villagers. I am getting note from my producers that I have to refrain from swearing or we'll lose our sponsors. And to that I say, let us lose them. I'm not beholden to a sponsor, unlike some some bears out there. Oh, a shrine. But the shrine requires apples. I'm a snake. I am a snake. Thank you, audience, for reminding me that I am, in fact, a snake. Let's explore around a little bit. See what, see, see, see what things there are to see in this little village. This, this, this quaint little hamlet. Let's check out the store. Get into the, we can't get in the shop. You know what? We should check out the bridge. Let's check out the bridge. Sorry. <laughs> One thing I've learned in this last day is that doing just streaming video games is a lot easier than making like scripted content. <laughs> Look at Spoida. Oh hi, why'd you wake me up? I need to repair the bridge. Uh oh. Why is the redeem not playing? 
Nice. <laughs> I won't fix my own mistakes, bitch. <laughs> Bree, why are you going ooh? What did I do? <laughs> so we have fixed the bridge by kicking a spite, a spoida. The beast repaired the bridge! We are now the lyrics to the song. Okay. <laughs> Got it. Uh oh. Oh no. I'm sure the people that make Piku Niku are thrilled to know that their game is on uh, the first episode of the reboot of Two Buck Test Your Luck. Hey, it's that guy. Guy that has money. Hey, an apple. An apple. An apple. Ah. Heard Mr. Sunshine is meant to make an appearance today. He doesn't come in person very often. What else is there to say about Piku Niku? It's kind of a it's kind of a jokey jokey kind of game, you know? The the platforming never gets too difficult, the puzzles are never too hard. <laughs> F's in the chat. Whenever people start staying F in the chat, I'm worried that the stream died. <laughs> Piku Niku, that's right. Also, hello Datu. We are doing a game show. Two buck test your luck, where we're seeing which cheap game is the best boffo bargain. We're gonna find out. Uh, unfortunately, I was not able to get away from the phrase boffo bargain. It seems that is like hard baked into the show. Uh, so unfortunately, we do have to uh, use the remnants of the previous host's ideas. Are these games even two dollars? I can't believe you would ask me that, Bear Now. I can't believe you would call into question my integrity like that. Man, where are we going? You have to find the painter. Hello. Oh, hey. What are you doing? Getting some killer legs for the bass kick comp championship. Okay. Old windmill. Yeah, okay, thank you. Uh, bye. I know Pika Nika is a decent game, but I've only seen the co-op. The co-op's pretty fun, but it doesn't... They're, the co-op and the uh, base game, the single-player campaign, are two completely different games. Uh-oh. Look at this guy. Yes, I will challenge you to the bass kick competition. Alright, so here's our first challenge. I do understand. All right, kick. Hey, kick. I am the kicking boy. I am the kick boy. I am. He, I am he who kicks. Oh no! No! You garbage man! You stay away from my basket. Oh no, we're running out of time for this segment of the show. Ah! <laughs> oh no. The AI. It's yelling at me to stop. I won't stop though. Billy, get the AI. Billy, tell the AI that we're not stopping. 
should find a host that's good at video games. This show has never had a- I just scored on myself. <laughs> this show's never had a host that's been good at video games, so this is just remaining true to the original intent. <laughs> This is a shameful performance. <laughs> Don't you. There we go. Damn it. What am I doing? <laughs> ah. Okay. Don't fucking it's fucking kick it's fucking rude to kick people. Kick the dang ball. Damn it. <laughs> no, but I watched you score on yourself. Yeah, that's true. Okay. Come on. Come on. Damn it. There it is. Have you guys ever seen a more illustrious uh, display of video game skills and prowess? AI, I know. AI, listen. I know, we're, 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 we've ran out of time for this part of the show. Okay, let's go back to the stage. All right, can we get a round of applause for PQD2? Thank you. Um, now, we have to give the AI some time to judge the game on our category, which is once again, uh, internet animals. <laughs> round of applause for PQD2, everybody. <laughs> Uh, while it's doing that, we're going to uh, take a, 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 a quick a quick recess, a quick break, while the AI does his magic.
I'm muted. I'm shitsing. I'm muted. <laughs> Damn it. <laughs> okay. We have our t so we have our categories here for the for the category of thank you. For the category of internet animals. We are going to judge it based on how much it is like. It gives off Baron Out vibes, Drip the Deer vibes, Greenland vibes, Dogfish vibes, and whether it costs two bucks. All right. Uh, so first thing I gotta do is close that. And then, okay. For, God, this is such a mess. Um, <laughs> first, cost two bucks. It does not cost two bucks. It in fact costs, uh, what the fuck is this? The price has changed since I got it. It costs three eighty nine. So you know what? It's gonna get. It's gonna get. Uh, as far as as far as cost two bucks, it's gonna get a, a a ten out of twenty. A ten out of twenty on the cost two bucks vibes. As far as bear out vibes. Wait, why am I angry? There we go. No. Okay. <laughs> As far as bear nut vibes, I'll be honest. We started off being asleep in a cave for a very long time, which gave off very big bear nut energy to me. So we're gonna give, uh, we're gonna give it, or rather, the AI is going to give it, not me. There's an AI that's doing it, right? AI. That's right. God damn it. The AI is gonna give, is giving, is giving the giving Piku Niku a ninety. Out of a hundred on the bear nut vibes, and I'm angry again. No, damn it. <laughs> damn it. <laughs> this is such a mess. All right, as far as drip the deer vibes, now, throughout that entire time, I didn't see a single antler or any sort of deer exhibiting energies or times. Um, so I, I, I don't expect it to have very high drip the deer energy. Uh, oh, 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 it looks like it's calculating a 75 out of, out of 100 on the Drip the Deer. <laughs> on the Drip the Deer energy and vibes. Next there's Breedland. And now I see Breedland in chat saying, if this doesn't have high Breedland vibes, I'm going to scream. And I didn't, I didn't notice any particular any particular Breenland energies in there. It was so upbeat and happy. And as we know, uh, uh, twitch.tv slash Breenland is a very vitrolic, high energy, uh, hateful, hateful man. There was no menace vibes. There wasn't any menacing vibes at all, honestly. Although there was the looming threat of capitalism. So that, 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 that kind of gives me, that's kind of menacing. Let's, let's, let's see what the AI has to say though. The AI is giving it 40. 40 out of 100 Greenland vibes. You don't kick, you have no legs. You're a snake. You're like me. <laughs> You're a snake, you can't kick. Um, dogfish, now the dogfish.exe energies. <laughs> rough score for Piku. Uh, the, the dogfish energies, I, I feel like this game had a lot of dogfish energies. There was a lot of bright colors. There was a lot of very simple, simple, easy to digest graphics. So to me, the to, to me this had a lot of a lot of uh, a lot of dogfish energies. All right, but let's find out. Uh, the AI is giving it oh 95 out of a hundred. 95 out of a hundred on the uh, on the on the on the dogfish energy. Wow. So that's gonna give. I can't believe dogfish is the last category. Why does that matter? <laughs> so that's gonna make the total score for Piku Niku. Uh, three hundred and ten. Three hundred and ten for Piku Niku. Wow. Can we get another round of applause for Piku Niku, everybody? They did a great job. The last category was always the negative one. I never noticed that. <laughs> Damn it, I fucked it up again. <laughs> I'm fucking it all up. Let me make a note. Take a note for Piku Niku.
All right. <laughs> great. Good job, Piku Diku. That's a great. Oop. Nope. That's the wrong. Okay. There we go. Right stage now. Scuff station. I, I feel so self conscious right now. <laughs> All right. Um, we're going to get the next game up. Uh, again, this game is The Convenience Store. The Convenience Store. Game. Ah, there's video games. All right, let's get 15 minutes on the clock for the convenience store. And let's get it going. Okay, that's a little loud already. Already off to a scuff start. It's a little loud. It's time. I need to get ready for work. Listen. You're not getting to see the clock. Uh, Slept well. Look, we have a rat. Look at that rat. We're already getting Greenland vibes because of this rat. Hopefully the uh hopefully the AI hopefully hopefully the AI takes note of of the rat. We gotta get to work. What do you mean? It is a rat. It's dark outside. <laughs> yeah, no, it's a, I know it's a chinchilla, but as far I think the AI is gonna get it confused and think it's a rat. Uh <sighs> I need to eat something, change, grab a flashlight before I leave. God. Pick up flashlight? Yes. Oh, look at that. Yeah, I heard that the AI was developed by some... I heard it was developed by the previous host of the show. Which is a kind of a yikes moment that we couldn't get it replaced, but... You know, it is what it is. How do I eat? I see some ramen. Looks like some chippies. Uh, change clothes, yes. <laughs> it belongs to the chinchilla. From a fiber coupon. The jokes are coming out in full force this stream. How do I eat? This lady says she used to eat before going to work, which is never something I've ever done. Maybe that's good enough. Well, she needs to eat. Lady says she needs to eat. We all need to eat. Comrades. And I can only... I have to assume this is what I'm supposed to be eating. Oh my god. Interact left mouse button. Am I supposed to eat the chinchilla? Ah, there we go. Got some FUD. Pop it in the microwave. Ooh. Got some microwave food. <laughs> Give it a do. Get it dude. Get it do dude it up. Get it done. The wife. Oh my god, am I actually gonna have to wait like five minutes for this to cook? Bear, Bear now J Bear says, I like the vibe. I also like the vibe. I know it's a kind of, the studio that makes it makes a lot of VHS style horror games, like shorter experiences. I know that this whole game 
is only about 40 minutes long. It's not a very long game. Okay, say bye to the rat. Everybody say bye to the rat. Bye, rat. <laughs> you bear not Jay Bear. <laughs> okay, we gotta get to work. Or else our manager is gonna be totes angry. We work at a Konbini. Thought I saw like a collectible or something. I haven't played this game. I had played Pikuniku, but I have not played this. Uh, oh, I thought that was a staircase. Let's run. We're running late. We gotta run. This is already better than Happy's Humble Burger Farm, if you guys remember when I streamed that. How the hell do I get down? Must have taken a wrong turn somewhere. Are we even gonna get to the convenience store before the before the time runs out? Blind. <laughs> ah, there it is. Walk right past it. So while I do know this is a horror game, I also know that it doesn't have any uh, jump scares that will we have that we will have to worry about for the purposes of this stream. But there are gonna, but there are spooky happenings, and they, you know, if you don't like spooky happenings, you might want to avert your gaze until the next game. Snake. Snake. Ah, oh, the convenience store. That's a fucking bear. Nothing is more spooky than working retail. Holy shit! What the fuck? Is that an earthquake? My whole like apartment just shook. Uh, sorry, we got it. <laughs> uh, the studio was built on top of a fault line. <laughs> Hello, you. That is a human man. That is a human man's face. Oh god, you made it. What do you mean, oh god? Because I recently heard someone fell off the bridge you just crossed, and there was an old lady that said she saw a man walking down the street with his legs completely bent the other way. Scary stuff. But yeah, thanks for telling me this at, like, 2 a.m. It's really distressing that that's just, like, a human face wrapped around a 3D model. Uh, use CCTV? Sure. My whole house shakes every day. That sounds unpleasant. <laughs> Can look around. How do I exit? Oh. Uh, do I have to, like, clock in or something? I think some food expired by the time you start your shift. Can you take them off the shelves for me, your manager? Yes, I will remove... These barrel... Jesus, that's intense. <laughs> Oh, oh, that's me. I did that. Look at these lovely 
ladies. These beautiful anime babes. How do I know which things are expired? Multiple things? No. The horrors of working a late night at retail. Hello. Yeah, you can have the food. I did a good deed. Give the homeless man some fud. Even if it is expired fud. Sankyu's choice. I think I'll give it a try. Jump looks fine. Jump looks fine. How about the milk? Hey, buddy, do you want to take any of the trash? No? Just me? Who's that? Is that just a homeless guy walking away? I think it is. Car. All right. We have to close our eyes because we don't want. We don't dare look into the dumpster. Do I have to walk all the way around, or can I go through the back door? I can just go through the back. There's still one more shelf that needed inspecting. Shelf looks fine. Let's thank you's choice again. Now, see, this is the high octane gameplay that you never got from the original run of Two Buck Test Your Luck. Am I missing something? I rarely buy magazines, but I but I buy Austin Lee magazines. That's nice. The only thing that's interactable is still this. It's Thank You's Choice. And I know we stand Thank You's Choice, you know, for sure. Check the bathroom. Lovely bathroom. Thank you for always keeping the toilet clean. Oddly convincing. Horror. Maybe there's something else. Yeah, I already did that. What is this though? It looks like a receipt. You know what I do with this guy that works here with me? There must be some. There must be something I'm missing. Some more expired food. Probably my time card. Oh. Back here. I've been working for free. Oh no! Now that's horror. The horror of, of, of wage theft. I've never had to physically clock in, that's true. I've always had systems. Okay, give me that. Where do I. I don't see like a punch thing though. Oh. Oops. <laughs> Where the fuck did he go? Oh, there he is. Are you leaving? Where we find ourselves alone. Nice. Nice. Oh. Blue tray. Let's 
somebody's coming. It's unprofessional to be seen from out from out of from behind the counter. We have to stay. Hello, sir. Welcome. What can I get you? Can I get you a pack of smokes? Can I get you a? Can I get you a nudie mag? Hmm. A sweet busty babe. So let's watch him through the cameras. There he is. Gotta make sure he doesn't shoplift. All right, uh, the... Okay, okay, I uh, thank you. Thank you, uh, AI. Uh, we're just gonna ring this customer out and then we'll see where it falls on the scale of internet animals. Hello, sir. Hello, sir. Oh. Hello, sir. Yes, wakarimasen. All right, and that was a uh, Convini or convenience store. <laughs> Round of applause, everybody, for convenience store. Big, big mood convenience store. Uh, give us a moment while we judge, while the AI uh, figures out where it lands on the scale of uh, internet animals. All right, it looks like the, oh, yes, it looks like the AI is finished. Everybody, please, uh, can we get, can we, let's find out. <laughs> so let's find out. Let's find out where the convenience store lands on the scale of internet animals. Uh, first up, first up, cost two bucks, it costs two ninety nine. dollars ooh. Cringe moment, cringe moment. However, it is closer to two dollars in the last game, so we are going. So it's going to get a a a fifteen out of twenty. Yes, it does count. It counts. Bear not J Bear in the chat saying that it counts. Uh, first is uh, Bear now. Let's see where. Let's see what the AI thought. It landed on the scale of Bear now. Um. 
Uh, it looks like it. Ooh, an 80 out of 100 on the bear scale. Ooh, big bear energy, apparently. Um, drip the deer energy. Uh, uh, ooh. Oh, what's this? The readings are coming in. The readings are coming in, everybody. Uh, oh my god. Oh my god. 40 out of 100 on the drip the deer scale. Ooh, that's gonna hurt. That's gonna hurt for, for, for the convenience store. I've learned that Big Bear Energy equals low energy. <laughs> uh, Breenland Energy. Uh, now, what is, now, I'm completely at a loss. I don't know how much Breen Energy was in that game. Also, hello, Snack Attack. Snack Attack in here with a Balls Defeat. We got a Balls Defeat here from Snack Attack. Wow, that thing is huge! Holy shit! <laughs> Oofy Dog, thank you for the raid. Um, you're joining in on a very... Uh, unorthodox stream. We are doing uh, two buck test your luck, where we are judging three uh, two dollar games uh, on a on a very official on a very official scale of internet animals. Um, right now, we are judging the convenience store on the scale of internet animals. We already have done Piku Niku, and coming up next is going to be Seraph's Last Stand, and together we're going to find out who is the best Bafo bargain. Um, how, can we get a shout out for Oofy Dog? <laughs> um, we're just about to find out where it lands on the Breenland scale. It looks like it's a 75 out of 100 for Breenland. And then Dogfish, how much Dogfish energy did it give? Now Dogfish does, does enjoy some, 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 what's the word? Uh, he likes an aesthetic. He likes an aesthetic, you know, played some Fortnite. Now, Fortnite's a vibe. Did you get the number one victory royale? Yeah, Fortnite, we're about to get down. Get down. <laughs> Ten kills on the board right now. <laughs> uh, looks like it's getting 85 out of 100 in the dogfish energy, leading to a total score. Get get on. <laughs> get on. Do, 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 do. Anyway, stupid, stupid meme to reference out of nowhere. Um, uh, 15. Yeah, do I have to do where we have to do some computing really quick? Uh, 295 for the for convenience store. That's gonna be 295. Why am I batty snake suddenly? Get to stop that. <laughs> <laughs> Just wiped out Tomato Town. That's right. I hope so. Um, all right, everybody, can we get one last round of applause for? Uh, can we get one last round of applause for the convenience store? Yes. Thank you. Thank you, my my wonderful audience members that have been murmuring this whole time. I just noticed. Thank you for murmuring. <laughs> really hope I'm not I'm not muted. Wait. Hold on, are you guys getting background noise? Oh, hold on a second. <laughs> Sorry. I'm sorry, I just realized we left the fan on in the studio tonight. <laughs> uh, and it was picking up on my mic. Oh, shit. Uh, Oofy Dog, thank you for the follow. And sorry that my alert box is fucked up. You're standing behind Seraph's last stand. <laughs> Thank you, Oofy Doc. Uh, <laughs> all right, let's get the last game for the evening loaded up, everybody. Uh, this, this is going to be Seraph's last stand. And let's move on over to the to the game stage. There we go. Come on, capture. Capture, yes, there it is. Seraph's last stand, oh, that's a little loud. It's a little loud. It's a little loud for my for my delicate snake ears. Snakes are known for their delicate ears. Uh, yeah, Seraph's last stand, let's check it out. Put 15 minutes on the clock. Billy, Billy, can we get 15 minutes on the clock, Billy? Thank you. Let's start. Looks, so I have not checked out uh, 
I checked out this game in as much as I made sure it ran. But I have not played it myself. Oop. Okay, let's see what we got here. Hey everyone, did you know that Snack Station took a Family Guy personality quiz? Listen, we don't need to expose. You don't need to expose me. Create a shield that blocks damage every few seconds, plus one item choice from now on. When killed, enemies release six weaker projectiles in random directions. For every meteor you run, three explosive projectiles are launched upwards. Um, I think the move is fragmentation, right? <laughs> Thanatosian here saying that I am Stewie from Family Guy. Don't appreciate that. I did get Meg though. <laughs> Unfortunately. I love that this little uh, wizard guy doesn't have a run animation. He just glides across the floor. Uh, projectile damage plus two. Yes, thank you. <laughs> Snack Attack exposing me to, to my studio audience because let's not forget, Two Buck Test Your Luck is filmed in front of a live studio audience. Uh, we'll take luck. We'll take luck. What do you mean studio? I do have a studio audience. This is filmed in front of a live studio audience. <laughs> the music that happens during the selection screen is wild. It is, it's literally live. <laughs> Let's take the Soul Orb one, find out what that's about. Okay. Oh. Do you see that sweet dog? I'm sorry. I'm sorry. Can we talk about how much skill it just displayed in front of everybody on Twitch.tv? Gains attack speed every second you don't move resets every wave. When killed, enemies really. Okay, we already got fragmentation. Uh, let's get let's get focus. Let's see what that what that what that's kind of like. Okay, it doesn't. I don't know if that was the move because you kind of need to be moving constantly. It seems. Plus one jump. Live fast, die wet. Uh. Yeah, attack faster. So this game caught my eye just because it seems like a, I don't know, it seemed like a neat, like a, just a cool little roguelike, you know? Hop a feather, hop a feather. Um, projectile damage plus two, yeah. Two thunderbolts from the skies every few seconds. Let's try that. The screen is starting to get a little cluttered. Ooh. Had to jump through some bullets there. How's everybody in the how's everybody in the studio audience doing today? Are you all doing good? How's everybody doing? Where did you where you come from? You come from Tampa? What are you doing all the way out here in, in Illinois? Ladies and gentlemen, we got somebody from Tampa in the audience tonight. Gross. Okay. The guest barrier. Remove the Tampa. <laughs> Get the Tampas out of here, honestly.
people from Tampa, not valid. And you can, you can count on that. Is that a friend or an enemy? That's an enemy. Ooh, let's get more attack speed, right? More attack speed. I was once in Tampa and I looked in the pool and it was filled with fire ants. <laughs> Nobody in Tampa has a underwater. Every pool in Tampa is above water. It's above ground. Uh, more attack speed. Yeesh. Audience, what do you think of this game so far? I know it's not I know it's not much, but it, I think I don't know, I kinda kinda into it. Honestly, I'm probably gonna play this off stream. <laughs> I mean after the show. Sorry. I think this very official game show that's very real and has a lot of funding and sponsors. God, I love the idea of Florida. <laughs> I love the concept of Florida. I know that every time, you know, I know that this game does also have uh, permanent upgrades. Like you unlock new hats and wands to start with in between runs. Which is pretty cool. Oh, you can use this orbs to, okay. We'll do that one. Oh, we got new enemies. Babe, wake up. Babe, wake up. New enemies dropped. That enemies have a. Oh, I can do some healing orbs. It looks like the red shots. Oh, wait, no. Oh, I'm almost dead. What the fuck happened? I got my driver's license in Florida and on the way home. <laughs> when the <laughs> someone rear-ended me, Jesus. It's unfortunate. <laughs> now, I'm not confident in my abilities here, so I think we might I think the AI I think the AI might be uh might be might be seeing me die pretty soon. Let's get more tiny. Tiny boy. <laughs> also, it looks like my lightning bolt thing. I don't know. I feel like it only activates a few times, and then it doesn't activate for the rest of the round. Oh, Haley Orb. That's the business. That's right. There's no no cussing on my stream, snack attack. Idiot little baby boy. <laughs> uh Okay, we're gonna get the plus one jump for Breenland for, for audience member Breenland. Famous director in the chat, Breenland. Mm. 
need to get the destroys more projectiles thing. Yeah, I I know. Because right now my biggest problem is like my bullets actually reaching the uh reaching the bad boys. Uh possibly item choice from now on. You guys, on a scale of 1 to 10, how scuffed, <laughs> how scuffed is this uh, show being, show bairn? Pretty scuffed. <laughs> yes. <laughs> Stuffed means, uh, like, mess, like, uh, sloppy. <laughs> but it's, like, sloppy in, like, a fun way. In an endearing and cute way that people like and give you money for doing. Right, let, me, let me check in with our, uh... <laughs> scuffed, scuffed and scruffed. <laughs> um... I feel like the thing that's kind of carrying me right now is my, like, explosion thing, where dead enemies explode into projectiles. I feel like that's, like, what's carrying me through this horrid uh, gauntlet. Honestly, expected me to die a lot sooner. Um, guess let's take another thunderbolt. Get more lightning bolts in here. This game kind of gives me like late two thousands freeware vibes, which is a vibe I enjoy. <laughs> If any of you watched my freeware stream, you'd know. you know. Oh, they do a lot of damage. Looks like, uh. Oh, looks like the AI has seen enough of the game to tell us where it's going to land on the internet animal scale. So, once again, we're going to take a quick, a quick break. Uh, and figure out what it's, what that's gonna look like. We'll be right back. 
What about now? It's time to rock with the big kid, the fuck bumble. What about now? It's time to rock with the big fuck bumble. What about now? It's time to rock with the big kid, the snake. What about now? It's time to rock with the big fuck bumble. Bumble, fuck bumble. Big kid, the bumble. Bumble, fuck bumble. Snake. Big kid, the fuck. Bump to the boot to the bump face. The big kid, the snake. The boot to the bump to the back. Big kid, bumble. Nice. Snake. Snake. Bumble, bark, bumble, pick it the buck. Bump to the boot, to the bum face, the pick it the bumble. The boot to the bum to the buck, pick it bumble. Oops, I didn't clear out the thing. <laughs> uh, it's fine. It's fine. Uh, okay, so we're gonna do every hello, welcome back everybody to the to the show. Welcome back to the show. Uh, we're going to judge the game now. Seraph's uh, Seraph's last stand on the category of uh, the fucking. The thing. Internet animals. That's right. Does it cost two bucks? It does not, in fact. I'm sorry. I'm so sorry. It does not cost two bucks. It costs 99 cents on the Steam store. Listen. I know it's disappointing. I know it's I know it's bad. It's gonna get a 10 out of 20. On the cost two bucks scale. On the burnout scale. On the burnout scale. Oh, what's this? What's this? Uh, 85 on the burnout scale. Yes, you are. Listen, Snack Attack, I need you in the studio audience to applaud. Applaud, damn you. <laughs> drip the deer. What's the drip the deer vibes on it? Um, I, I, oh, looks, oh. That was a quick decision. 95 out of 100 in drip vibes. Wow. Wow. I, I know. I know, everybody. 95 out of 100 on the drip the deer vibes. Big vibes from Drip the Deer tonight in the studio audience. Uh, Breenland vibes. Breenland vibes. Uh, looks like, looks like, ooh, 65 Breenland vibes. 65 Breenland vibes. Wow. Uh, 65 Breenland vibes. No! What? Well, somebody in the audience. Who? Who's saying? No. Is that Breenland in the audience saying he doesn't approve of the of the of the of the AI's judgment? The AI is going to have to have to consider. Oh, the AI is. Oh, the AI is. It, it, oh, it looks like it's revising its score. Looks like it's going to be seventy-five out of a hundred on the on the on the drip on the on the yeah fan boost. <laughs> exactly. Um, as far as the dogfish vibes, you know, I I think I talk for all of us when I say that I don't think dogfish would like that game very much. Looks like it's going to be ooh, ooh, this is a rough one, ladies and gentlemen. Thirty out of a hundred in the dogfish vibes. Ooh, that's gonna that's gonna hurt their standing in in things. So let's let's do some advanced arithmetic right now. Find out what its final score is going to be. Oh my god, it's a it's 295 again? 295 again on the 
on the score. Wow, funny how that works out. So it looks like it looks like uh, Sarah's Last Stand and Convenience Store are both at two ninety five with Piku Miku at three hundred and ten. Uh, so because of that, we will be moving on to the final round. Where we will find out which. Wait, hold on. I'm, hold on. Sorry, my producer, my producer is calling me. Uh, give me, give me, give me a second, ladies and gentlemen. I, I'm, so, I'm so sorry. I'm so sorry. I'll be, I'll be, I'll be right back. Jerry, what's Jerry? What's what's the problem? Jerry, what do you mean? I thought you said we couldn't get it. He's in the studio? We already have to be contested. We can't have a fourth one. Jerry, I, I'm sorry. I told you we can't. We can't. Jerry, it's, it'll compromise the integrity of the whole show. We can't do this. The people expect a certain level of quality from the people testing your luck. We can't have a fourth contestant on the show. What do you mean? I don't care that he's here. Get him out. Bye. Bye. All right, everybody. Looks like tonight we're going to, ha despite my, but despite what I would like, we're going to have a fourth contestant on the show. Oh, what? Oh God, they're here. Oh no. Oh fucking hell. No, get up. You can't just come into the studio like you think you own the goddamn place. What are you doing? No. Why is your podium so much larger than everybody else's? This is horseshit. I hate this. Okay, everybody. It looks like we have a fourth contestant for the evening. And it is going to be Garfield Kart Furious Racing. <laughs> um, I thought we couldn't get him on the show. His agent told us that he wouldn't be caught dead on a show like this, but looks like looks like we're going to be doing one more game. Doing one more game for the for the show tonight. I'm so sorry, everybody. I'm, I'm sorry for the unprofessionalism. I'm I'm just as upset about this as you all are. You know, I'm I'm not I'm not pleased. But let's we're 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 gonna get through this, and we're going to we're gonna move over to the game stage. We're gonna play Garfield Kart Furious Racing. Garf, I can't believe, I can't believe you would do this to, to my show, Garf. AI, are you there? All right, I know this is a lot on you, AI, uh, but we, we need you to judge one more show. No! Listen, I... Well, hey, I am very proud of you for assimilating Breen's voice into your voice bank, but you're gonna have to do it. No! 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 Michael! It, I'm, I'm sorry, but it's happening. Okay. Put 15 minutes on the clock, and let's play Garfield. Let's check out Garfield Furious Racing. Lasagna Cup Cats in the Hood, Lasagna Cup Crazy Dunes, Lasagna Cup Pale Rock Lake. Oh wait, there's, okay. I guess we should do a, a pre, right? Got the Lasagna Cup, the Pizza Cup, the Hamburger Cup, and the Ice Cream Cup. I guess we'll start with the, uh, I guess we'll start with uh, the Lasagna Cup. Let's see what we got. We got Garf, we got John. We got Liz, got Odie, Arlene, Normal, Squeak. Who the fuck is this? Who is this creepy pasta Garfield? 
What? Who the, who the hell are you? <laughs> who, who's Harry? Jesus, he's like Slender Man. <laughs> Uh, we're gonna pick. Well, no, we're, we we gotta go with Garf. We're going with Garf. Garf Sona. I'm like stuck on the. Okay. Uh, stop. Did you see me jump over that? That was on purpose. Get the fuck out of my way, Odie. I'm so upset that fucking, that my producer did this to me. Oh my god, the drift is so intense. I feel like the cars move very slowly <laughs> in this. Oh, I didn't notice this was, uh... It, I mean, it doesn't look bad, but it also, I feel like the colors are very muted, right? Like, it's not very, it's not super colorful. It's, oh, I thought that was like a shortcut. It wasn't. Sodi. Ugh, I hate lasagna cup. I'm still really distressed about that fucking creepy pasta Garfield clone. Who the fuck was that? Uh, X. Okay, so that's like a, it's a boost. The lasagna is a boost. I'm still missing a puzzle piece, but I don't, oh, I don't know if that's something I should care about. Damn it. Ah! Okay, pies like slide across the floor. Good to know. Uh, I am the Garf Master. <laughs> master of Garf. I got like an evil gem. I have an evil gem. We won! Look at me. Truly, I am the winner of time. Congratulations! You've won! Unfortunately not. Unfortunately not, Bear. We're not free of Garf yet. Listen, we have fucking Jason the producer. Uh, he really, he really fucked us up. He really fucked us on this one. Let me tell you. Oh God. Okay. I missed. The fuck out of my way, Liz. I don't want your gem. Oh shit. Wrong button. I meant to throw that in front of me. What the hell was that? Why do I think that why do I think that the spring would be a good thing? Uh 
How are you supposed to get that puzzle piece? That's ins that's nuts. That they would expect Garfield, the fattest cat alive, to. Okay, we can do this, everybody. We can't let Garf win. Wait, we're Garf. We have to let Garf win. <laughs> What just happened? I took, a, I took a little cat nap? You know, I was expecting this game to actually play a lot worse than it is. Oh, took another nappy. That's barely an inconvenience. Got second place, everybody. It looks like John Arbuckle wins this one. Looks like it plays better than Choke about Grand Prix. I heard that wasn't great, which is unfortunate because I thought that that visual looked pretty cute, but I've heard it's not great. A lot of microtransactions, which is unfortunate. Oh, when did you look at that? It looks like time's up. Oh no, Garfield cart. It looks like time's up. Oh, I'm so sorry. Anyway. Um, oop. Uh, oop. Nope. Okay. Back to the stage. Everybody, can we get a... Can we get a round of applause? Can we get a round of applause for uh, Garfield cart? Where even is Garfield cart? There he is. <laughs> I know. Yeah, thank you, everybody. Thank you, Garfield Cart, for showing up. <sighs> All right, uh, let's let the AI let's let the AI uh, figure out what it's gonna do with Garfield Cart. All right, we'll be right back, everybody. That has a free version, but really, that fucking sucks, Dato. That's that's unfortunate. Okay, we'll be right back. We're gonna we gotta let the AI do its thing though. Thank you. 
Oh, sorry. I'm okay. Now I'm actually here. Hi, everybody. Welcome back. Sorry, it took me a minute. Um, it took the AI a, a while to uh, kind of reboot itself. Having to process a fourth contender in two bug test for luck is really taking it taking it out of them. Yes, I know AI. I know. I'm sorry. Um, and I don't appreciate having my control control of the show being wrenched from me by a horrible yellow cat. But we are fair judges here at, at Two Buck Test Your Luck, and we will be judging Garfield Kart fairly on the scale of <laughs> on, on the scale of internet animals. So let's let's see what that's going to be. First off, cost two bucks. Uh, Garfield Kart, in fact, does cost. It is the closest to two bucks on the show tonight. It costs two twenty four. Garfield cart costs two dollars and twenty four cents on the Steam store right now and will until April fourth. So if you want some sweet Garfield action in your life, some cart based Garfield action, now is your time. Um, so we're gonna give them a nineteen. I said a, I said nineteen out of twenty on the. Uh, on the two dollar scale truly a, a good performance from garfield car on that front of being very close to two dollars uh on the burnout scale it looks like garfield car is getting mm, i think this might be because might be because burnout has has engaged in so much gar content over the years but it looks like it's a 95 90 out of 100 on the garf scale wow on the drip the deer scale uh, it looks like Garfield Cart is a... Listen, I'm sorry, Bear, but you know the AI is a harsh mistress, all right? We, we, we can't fight her. We can only... We can only just listen. <sighs> on the Drip the Deer scale, it could be 60 out of 100 on the Drip scale. On the Breenland scale, now Breen and Garfield have a... Very storied history in the past. Their SEOs are very closely linked, so this is going to be an interesting result. Um, oh, looks like it's going to be a fifty out of a hundred for on the on the your SEO, your search engine optimization. <laughs> on the dogfish scale, now see on the dogfish scale, this is going to be interesting because dogfish is a very bright uh, person, very bright and shiny. Disney, uh, he's a Disney gay. He's a Disney gay, and this and this game kind of gives me Disney gay vibes, and I think that the uh, I think that the AI is going to agree with me on that and give it a seventy-five out of a hundred on the dogfish scale, and altogether that's going to mean that Garfield Cart. Let's let's do some let's do some advanced uh, mathematics really quick here. Good. Looks like it's going to be 294. 294. Now that's interesting because. Uh, God damn it, I'm Batty Snake again. <laughs> that's interesting though. Garfield Cart, can you please like get yourself down to the right size? Jesus. I can't even see the other contenders. You can go off to the side over there, Garfield Cart. Um, convenience store and Sarah's Last Stand both had 295 as their uh, results, but Garfield Cart got 294, which means that Garfield Cart is going to be last place. Last place, but the scores themselves aren't going to be aren't going to determine the winner. No, we have one last. We have one last round. And you will give me a moment while I go and set that up. But you know, you know what? We'll have Billy still set it up in the background while while we while we while we do a little chat. You know. Can you play Gardic Phone? <laughs> we might do a Gardic Phone after the show. You know, a little bonus, a little bonus thing. But we need to finish this off. We need to we need to finish what we started. All right.
Can you play Red Dead Redemption 2? No, I don't think I can. Oh my god, these If we get you some gold, well, it depends how much gold. I, don't know how to do this. <laughs> I thought it'd be self explanatory. It turns out it's not. <laughs> This is a, <laughs> sorry, this is a, we're getting, we're having a, a hiccup in the studio. How do I, how do I actually change the names of things? <laughs> At least we have Buck Bumble here to help us. Oh God, what? <laughs> I didn't think that it would... <laughs> Wait, why did you use marbles on stream for this? <laughs> This is the what they want. How this works is stupid. <laughs> Shit. Okay. Fuck. How do we do this? How do we? How do we do this? <laughs> Actually, you know what? It looks like, oh, it looks like the winner is going to be Piku Niku at 310 points. Everybody, yay! Pick race? I did pick race. I thought it'd be self-explanatory. Okay, no, hold on. Wait, no. No, I'm going to... I'm gonna figure this out. Simulation's not an option in under race. Under race. Oh my God. <laughs> Do they really expect, okay, do they really expect you to make a Word document that tells you the names of the marbles? Is that really what they do? Is that really what it is? How the hell do you do this? The interface is just shit. <laughs> I'm seeing that. I thought it'd be self-explanatory. Bree, no! <laughs> Race, pick settings. Okay. Number of players, 13. 
We love having 13 players. I'm so sorry, everybody. This is so, this is so scuffed. Settings. Let's see, add names under settings. <laughs> Jesus, now I understand why it always took you so long to get the goddamn marbles part of the stream going. <laughs> I'm not need tutorial. Well, I mean, I do, but... <laughs> Snack attack. Simulation, number of racers, race, okay. Then I've, lo I've now loaded the map. Loaded the map, go to settings. I don't see any ad name things at all. <laughs> This is such a nice. I, I was worried that something like some part of the stream would go horribly wrong. Race. Collect a map. Oh my god! It's so ridiculous. Use custom names, yes. Distribute custom, okay, add names. Here we go, all right. I did kick you out of the studio. You don't have your job back. I'm sorry. <laughs> okay, I think we have a got. I think it's I think it's happened. It has. Okay. Let's 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 find out. Back to the game stage. Here it is. The mar the contenders are all going to fight to see who will win and become this week's best Bafo bargain. Yes, look at that. Three, two, one. All right, let's see what we got. We got Seraph's Last Stand and Piku Niku. I don't, I don't know the layout of the map. Looks like Piku Niku's in the lead though. Look at them going down. They're fighting. They're fighting for their place. They're fighting for their right to. They're fighting for their right to exist in the world. Look at this. They're going down. Piku Niku in the lead. Piku Niku. Eating, eating ass. Piku Niku. Oh, Seraph coming up and 
Sarah fighting. They want to live. They don't want to die. The loser of two bucks extra luck does die in real life. You have to remember. Pikuniku's still holding that strong lead over Seraph's last embrace. It says store is in second place somehow. I'm not sure how. Oh, there's store. Convenience store. Play the song I linked to Discord. Uh. 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 I can't find it. We're not doing it. <laughs> Pikuniku. Oh. Convenience store getting launched into oblivion. <laughs> Absolutely decimated. We're gonna bring the music back. Here we go. <laughs> this is a nightmare. <laughs> uh, convenience store in the lead. Or no, Seraph. Seraph's last embrace. Seraph's last stand in the lead. Piku and Iku and Seraph out. Garfield out. Garf in second place. Can Garf bring it back? Can Garf keep it going? Seraph has been really fighting. They overtook Piku and Iku. Oh, the tumblers. The tumblers have, have ended many, many a boffo bargain. Convenience store. Convenience store coming in. Overtaking. Can they overtake Seraph's last stand? I don't know. I don't know. Oh, well, convenience store sliding in. Sliding in with that, with that sweet that sweet tumbler tech. And bypassing the, the, the pistons. Going down the stairs. Can they do it? Can convenience store do it? <gasps> convenience store. Convenience store. You are the winner. Convenience store. Oh wow, nobody's. Oh, and coming in on second. Coming in at second is is Piku Niku followed by Garfield Cart. Oh, looks like Seraph's last stand is coming in last. They really, he really fought for it. He really wanted to live, but unfortunately, Seraph's last stand will die. It's a, it's a complete upset. Convenience store. Convenience store. You've won. You've won! Everybody, can we get a round of applause? Can we get a round of... Yes, a round of applause, that's right. A round of applause for that, for that one. Uh, hold on. We have a little, we have a little reward. Got a little reward for you. Uh, I don't know where you went. Where did you go? Uh, hold on. There. Convenience store, you are this week's best. Why am I floating? You are this week's best Bafo bargain. Yes, it's true. Yes, ba 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 I, the button's not working. Button's not working. My, I don't know why it's not working. <laughs> Jesus. Okay. Everybody, that was... <laughs> Hold on, I got it. We have to get the jingle. Why is the jingle button not working? Hold on. Uh, here we go. Yes! You've won! Convenience store, you are this week's best Bafo bargain! Yes, the sweet, sweet sound of victory. Uh, we don't have the, any accolades to throw at you, but you do get that lovely, you get that trophy, you get to bring that home. Oh, I know you came all the way from Japan. To, 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 to be here on the show. We really appreciate that. We, uh, we want to thank our other contestants, of course, Piku, Niku, and Seraph's last stand. Can we get a round of applause for our last, uh, for our other contestants? Please, please, a round of applause for Piku, Niku, and Seraph's last stand. They really, they really fought for it. We really appreciate them coming into the studio, and they will be coming home. They will be going home with the, con with the consolation prize of $3.00 of a Twitch Prime sub for the both of them. A Twitch Prime sub for Piku, Niku, and Seraph's Last Stand. Also, hello, Nick Cobalt. <laughs> Thank you for the boop. <laughs> All right, everybody. Uh, hold on, here we go. Let's, uh, I want to thank everybody for coming in and 
watching. Two buck, two buck test your luck. Uh, this was a super fun thing. I fucked it up a lot at the end, but it was a super fun. I'm glad we did it. I don't know if we'll ever do this again. Probably not, because <laughs> I was really bad at it. <laughs> But this was a super good time. I really enjoyed it. Um, I don't think we're ending the stream, though. I still have some time. But this is going to be the end of this part of the stream, for sure. Uh, <laughs> yeah. Uh, this was Two Bucks If Your Luck. Once again, thank you uh, to all of our lovely contestants for playing. And thank you to our previous host, the one and only Bearnout J. Bear. Uh, this the show could not have existed without him, our lovely little ba our lovely little man. Uh, special thanks to uh, Billy, Billy the intern. Billy, you are allowed to go home now. You will not be paid. Billy, reduce the music volume. Okay, Billy, can we re before you go? Can you reduce the music volume? Thank you, Billy. Thank you, thank you, Billy. Um, that's the end of this part of the stream. Hope you enjoyed. Two buck test your luck. <laughs> let's uh let's move things over now. Uh no. There we go. <laughs> the void. <laughs> let's turn back on our normal our normal music though. God, <laughs> that was fun, but God, I was really, I was ill-prepared, for sure. Oh, what should we play now? I still want to do a community night, but I want to do that on a different night. Do, I, do we have enough people for Gardic? Can you play Among Us vs. Roblox Rap Battle, please? My friend name is... Friend Ryan's favorite song. <laughs> I mean, you probably. Yeah, I don't see why not. We could do. We could do a Gardic. in a void. Pardon me, game. I didn't have any other plans, so this this is fine, honestly. And then turn on the screen capture. There we go. Wait, am I about to dox myself? Where is the snake? Hold on. stream is so scuffed. I'm so tiny! Okay, give me a second. We're just gonna hang out in the void for a moment. There is the invite for anybody that wants to play some Gardic. Uh, I still have to do one more thing off in the void, though. I was just changing the, uh, the stream title. Probably keep the music on in the background. Just turn it down a little bit. All right. <sighs> oh, oops, that's my Discord. Don't look at that. <laughs> All 
Okay. All right, if anybody wants to play, I posted the link in the chat. So far we have Breamland and Snack Attack. And Miso and Bear now. Hello, Miso. Good to see you. Thanks for popping in. I don't know how long you've been lurking, but welcome to the stream. We just got done doing a fun little game show <laughs> that had no problems in it at all. There, it, was, it went off without a hitch completely. <laughs> also, my fo this follow goal, I'm getting rid of this follow goal because it is incorrect. Lurking doesn't work this way, apparently. Ooh. Ugh. I don't know what that's about then. <laughs> um, do we have anybody else? Oh, who'd we lose? We lost Bizo. Bizo is gone. Lost to the void. We're gonna have a sippy. Gardic Phone is a drawing game. It's like telephone, but with drawing. It starts off with everybody putting in a phrase or thing, just a phrase or whatever you want in text, and then another player will get whatever you put in, and they have to draw that, and then the person after them has to guess what they were drawing, and it goes like that a few times until it's over and done with. It's Garlic Phone. <laughs> um, if anybody else is in chat that wants to play it though, uh, if that doesn't sound like something you're into, Bisa, that's totally fair. No judgment there. Uh, but right now we have uh, me, Breen, Snack Attack, and Baron out. So we're gonna give people a few more minutes to join if they want. <laughs> yeah, and don't worry about art skills. I did not, I did not draw, like, my PNG tuber, I did not draw my PNG tuber. I am not an artiste. I draw, like, ass. You guys have seen me do those doodles. They're really good. They're not. But I figure we'll do, like, a round or two of this, and then I'll maybe call it for the night. <laughs> I disconnected out of nowhere because my connection is two megabits per second, Jesus. You gotta get better internet. Here, I will I will post the link again in case anybody needs it. There is link. Look at that link. Hot hot link. Oh there's Mizo. Mizo's back. Uh, we'll probably just do the normal mode. Some of the other modes are pretty fun though, like knockoff and uh, knockoff is chaotic. In knockoff, uh, everybody draws something, and then the people after them have a very short amount of time to replicate their drawing, and it's just seeing the the drawings get more and more terrible. <laughs> but I think I think we're gonna start off with the normal though. I think we're gonna start off with the normal. And if anybody has any friends that they think might want to play, feel free to invite them. Just checking some stuff before we're going. I think five is a good place to start with. And then if people want to play after, they can. What's up, bear? What's up? What's wrong? What did I do? <laughs> Play the MP3 in Discord. Uh, did you PM it to me or something? Because I didn't see an MP3 in any of our chats. Oh, there it is. Oh, no. Oh, no. Ah, my fucking ears! <laughs> That's really loud. <laughs> he said he said he'll jo said he'll join if you sing the Among Us versus Roblox. Rap. This is really loud. It's really hurting my my little my little eardrums.
Okay. Alright, let's do it. Let's start it. Okay, what am I gonna put in? So first off, we all start off writing a sentence. There you go. <laughs> um... Alright, I have written my sentence. This is- I feel attacked. <laughs> I already feel attacked. I not change the I can't change the my pen size that's so weird when I'm are you seeing this I can't change it when it's bizarre. I've never had that problem before. I can't change the other pen sizes. I don't have time for- shit! I don't have time for troubleshooting. T. B. T. Fuck. Shit! T B T L. T B T Y L. And then a little. Ah, fucking hell. The King Amogus. Yeah, if something's like off with me, I'm having a really. Might have to end the stream. I'm having some really bizarre uh, trouble, but we're gonna finish this round at least. But I'm going to be handicapped on my uh, ability to change pen sizes. Apparently, like the only way I can change pen sizes is if I make my screen small. Jerry, the manager, yelling at Snack after playing Garf Cart. Damn, fucking Jerry. I'm all flustered because I'm having issues. Shit, why do I keep changing my pen size? It's never going to work out for me tonight. Have you guys ever seen that before? It's like it's clicking off the screen. It's so weird. Okay, and then a sad next station down here.
Yeah. <laughs> Perfect. I'd say refresh the page, but I'm not sure that's a good idea at the moment. Yeah, I don't think it is either. <laughs> it's okay. We'll just we'll just cope with it for now. <laughs> I should probably, I have a little, a little time I should try to draw. Garfield. Never mind. God, I fucking, I, I'm having, it's like really bizarre, the problems that I'm having. <laughs> Cherry the manager. <laughs> I love that. Uh, hmm. <laughs> Roller skating guys, but like one of them is dead. All right, let's see. Let's see how this goes. And we'll turn the voiceover on because it's funny. <laughs> First for me. Real snake in... committing crimes. Yes, a real snake committing real crimes. <laughs> Misa, that's great. <laughs> snake mugging lady. Oh my God. <laughs> no, not the V-Bucks. I'm stealing the V-Bucks. Snack mugging women for their V-Bucks. <laughs> I would never steal a V-Buck. I wouldn't. Snack station attempting to host a game show. Yeah, so I fucked this up immediately because I was having issues. <laughs> Snack station attempting to describe a game show. That's pretty close. <laughs> That's cute, Bear. <laughs> bear annoyed by Snake who dreams of Craft American singles. I do love a Craft American single. I love that cheesy, plasticky cheese. Mississippi Queen, if you know what I mean. <laughs> oh. King Amogus. Yeah, I thought it was an Amogus. I'm a who looks good. <laughs> okay, give me a second. I'm gonna... Getting that sound just right. There we go. Alright, next up, Baron Out. Snake getting fired from game show. I would never. <laughs> Garf cart. <laughs> Jerry the manager yelling at Snick after playing Garf cart. <laughs> There's Jerry. I was really flustered by my Jerry, like, the manager yeah. yelling at Snick. How did you get that that was Jerry? <laughs> Mizo, how did you know? <laughs> All right, let's do it, Mizo. Psych. Psych. <laughs> you thought you could skate? Yeah, right. That was Jerry. <laughs> Roller skating guys, but like one of them is dead. They were dead. All right, that was fun. I want to do another round, but I'm gonna I'm gonna try to fix some stuff real quick. So we're gonna we're gonna go in the void for a moment. We're going in the void. You guys like it here in the void? Twitch.tv slash next station. I'm gonna post another link if anybody wants to still wants to play in a moment. I just need to I crave deletion. Yeah, this is exactly what the afterlife is like. Gardic phone. Gardic phone. Authenticated Twitch. Right. All right. Here's the invite. 
And we're back in the game. If anybody wants to play. This time, hopefully, I won't have the same... Yeah, it seems to be fine now. I just reloaded my brow my entire browser. We got Bear and Mizo. We got Snack Attack. We got Breen. Is there anybody else that wants to play? Anybody else? We have room for a bunch more people if there's anybody out there in Lurk in Lurk Town that wants to draw some bad things with us. Snack Attack, you already joined. I know you'll play. <laughs> Uh, let's do another normal. Yeah? How do you guys feel about doing a normal? Here we go. Um... There we go. I think that's very true to life. Oh shit, that reminds me. Here, uh, I'll be one second. All right, I'm back. <sighs> Sorry, I forgot that. Oh, we're almost out of time. Sonic? <laughs> <laughs> okay, all right, I can do this. And I can change. No, I can't. What the fuck? <laughs> do I need to just like reboot my whole ass computer? It's so annoying. Yep, we're just gonna. No. It's like, well, I, I know how to zoom, Bree. <laughs> the issue is like when I'm clicking down here, it's clicking off the window completely. Like, it's really bizarre. Also, hello, uh, Roxas. <laughs> to get the quills just right. It's a fucking bear! It is a bear. He's the blue blur. change and I have to go do that. This is such a weird, I'm having a very bizarre issue. <laughs> but we're gonna, that's definitely, that definitely reads and everybody knows it is gonna know exactly what it is. <laughs> oh, uh, This is a, f a fun protest. <laughs>
It's uh Okay, what color is he? I think he's uh, uh, and then red. And he needs a little box. But it's like busted, broken box. I am an artist of the highest caliber. I'm gonna need to do this, unfortunately. They got, they got those, they got those shitty <laughs> smirks on their boxes. Yeah, that's right. That's the biz. It's a fucking bear! It is a bear. Who told you? Who told you it was a bear? Okay. Easy. <laughs> it's a fast dino. Let's see what we got here. Voice over on. Let's go. Bear getting cyber bullied. Hey, he deserves it. <laughs> what does that say? Bear Sorry, learning says, sequel. It says dumb something but. <laughs> Bear refuses. Bear sleeps next to a bin of lit technology. <laughs> That's cute. I like that one. Sonic the Hedgehog breaking an iPad. Yeah, I fucked this one up. <laughs> Sonic gets crappy school cafeteria lunch. <laughs> That's fair. <laughs> That's a fair one. <laughs> he looks like an angry teen. Sonic has a plate of hot cookies. Hot cockies. <laughs> Why did it say it like that? Stegosaurus. Cockies. Aw, oh, look at him. <laughs> look at him, he's so happy. A dinosaur on a fun stroll. He's just having a nice day, honestly. Yay! <laughs> fast dino. He's a fast dino, he's so speedy. I like this guy. <laughs> okay, let's see what Snack Attack did. Playing Fortnite way past your bedtime. Mom finds out. <laughs> I love it so. Oh, I had no <laughs> fun protest. I didn't. I don't know. I thought it was like a sign or something. <laughs> no fun. <laughs> Angry protesters unhappy about the direction of Tibtil. Of <laughs> Tibtil. <laughs> I should have saved some of the ones from the Breen's last one. delivery is wrong again. Tiptal. I, I should really be saving more of these. I'm just silly and dumb. Breen mad about a bad Amazon shipment. They effed up. <laughs> some angry at damaged Amazon package. I think I got your colors wrong, Breen. <laughs> you look you look so sinister. Um, well, I want to keep going, but I'm having some very bizarre uh, issues right now. I know you have three colors, but I thought, anyway. 
Yeah, those were not cookies. <laughs> What was that? I just heard a sound. Red next to black, friend of snack. <laughs> All right, um, I think I have some, uh, I think I have some stuff to work out. I'm having some really bizarre technical issues. Um, but this was fun. This was a fun way to kind of wind down after the stream. I'm, I just got to figure out what's happening here. Um, we are going to have a community night coming up because I hit 200 followers the other day. Thank you, everybody, <laughs> for following and, you know, hanging out and always watching my, my dumb bullshit. <laughs> but we're going to we're going to call it. Because weirdly doing two buck test your luck really kind of took it out of me. Weird sounds, and I don't know what they're coming from. <laughs> Not that. Yeah, I don't know. I don't know where. And now I'm hearing. Now I'm hearing sounds. Oh, probably Gardic. Yeah, you're right. It is Gardic. Um, we're gonna raid Yuna, I think. Yuna's good people. Uh, we're gonna do a stream tomorrow, but it's just gonna be a regular stream. No, no two buck test your luck this time. Tomorrow. But we are gonna stream tomorrow. For sure. Yuna is doing some The Forest with a buddy of theirs. So, go over there, say hi. Still in a dream. Naked My voice cracked. Can you please watch? I will watch it after stream. <laughs> uh... Sorry, I'm kind of, my energy is kind of fading really quick, but uh, before I go, I do want to thank uh, Bear for the gift sub to Valcora and Oofy Dog for the follow and for the raid. And thanks literally all of you for hanging out for the two buck test your luck uh, stream. It was super fun. Uh, I fucked it up, but it was a lot of fun. <laughs> I will catch you guys on the next stream, which will be tomorrow. To to snake, give or take. <laughs> All right, I will catch you guys later. Bye. Funny, we actually got.